Well, hello everyone. It is Sunday, March the 1st, 2015. This is Wes Fryer, and I'd like to record a short screencast to show you one way that you can set up a Google Hangout that can be used to archive an interview. And in this case, we're going to be doing this for the website STEM Seeds, which Amy Luffaholtz, the other grade four or five STEM teacher in Yukon Public Schools in Oklahoma, and I have been using for the past year to basically uh, get ideas about STEM lessons and be able to share ideas and hopefully amplify uh, STEM learning and encourage more schools and school districts and teachers to embrace STEM as an educational philosophy and even as a class as we have it in our school. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you the process of setting up the Google Hangout. Um, before I do, I want to point out that in advance of setting this up, I recommend that you create a Google Doc. So I've created a Google Doc. We've been using this for show notes for our past um, STEM, she STEM Seeds shows. And uh, this is real handy as far as being able to have this archive. And uh, we'll use this um, in many cases uh, to actually share the join link. Now, if this was going to be uh, a Hangout with more, more people, um, well, and I don't know, we may end up even doing this now as far as putting this link on. I The hardest part of all this, once you get this set up, can be having people know and find the correct link to join. Uh, and so as I'm recording this here on May 1st, 2015, this could change. Uh, but up to this point, it's been challenging, and I've really found the Google Doc to help. So here we go. What we're going to do is go to uh, Google+, and you'll need a Google Plus account in order to do this. And once you go to plus.google.com, you can scroll, you can click on the, the link underneath Google Plus and go to where it says Hangouts so that you can open up the Hangouts. Now, if you're using a Google Apps for Education account, you are going to want to make sure that your network administrator has turned on Hangouts. And in fact, in my case, I've just found it easier to use my own personal account. That's the way it's archived on my own account. Um, it needs to be a Google account that you know, can access Hangouts and not every school district that's using Google Apps for Education has that turned on. So you may just want to use your own personal Gmail account for this. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is to set up a YouTube account because what I'm going to do is set up a Hangout on air and it is going to automatically archive to YouTube. Now, if I didn't want this archived and I just wanted to create a Hangout, I could just click here on Video Hangout, Start a Video Hangout, and I could invite someone using their Google account, which is you know connected to Google Plus, they should be able to see that Hangout link if they are either in Google Plus, if they have the Hangouts app installed on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet, or if they are you know just inside of Gmail. Um, but sometimes again, like I said, it's a little tricky. I'm going to choose to create what's called a Hangout on Air, and that's going to be a public video conference. It can have up to 10 people participating simultaneously, but in this case we're going to have just two, maybe three of us in the Hangout Live and, and anybody else who wants to, sh to watch it can watch it on a view only page. Um, but we're not going to want to publish the actual um, join link uh, because that that is going to be a link that anybody who, who, who has that can join to participate. And so, anyway, I had an experience about two weeks ago where someone had shared one of those live, and that was uh, not good because people who uh, we didn't want joining the Hangout were actually able to. So, here we are on Google+. We've clicked Hangouts on Air. I'm going to click Start a Hangout on Air. Now, I don't want to start it right now. It's going to be later today. So, I'm going to go ahead and tap the little button here that says Later, but it is going to be for today, and it's going to be at 3 p.m. Central Time, and we're going to go for about an hour. And uh, down here below, I choose who I want to send um, this to. Um, I'm also going to uh, directly invite Kevin Jarrett, who is our guest tonight, today on STEM Seeds. And I'm going to um, invite Amy Luffaholtz, who's my partner in crime for uh, STEM Seeds, to go ahead and join. Now, I'm going to copy and paste uh, my uh, title for this session, which I've already you know typed into my Google Hangout. And then I'm also going to copy and paste the description. And I am putting the link here to our show notes so that if people want to access those before or after, they can do that. 
We've used Google Hangouts a lot for our ed camps here in Oklahoma and specifically for Ed Camp Oklahoma City. And one of the things that's worked really well for that, and that's more a private document that we're using on a, on a team. We've got about 15 people on the volunteer team, but we've actually, once we start the Hangout, We've copied the link at the top once you start the Hangout, and that's the join link. And again, that's probably the trickiest part of this. So I've got a title. I've got a description. Uh, it says it starts later. I've got the, the date and the time set. I have my audience put in here for who I'd like to invite. At the time I click share, notifications are going to go out via Google Plus to uh, folks, and they're going to be able to see that on your profile. So, you know, just kind of be sure you've got all that right, and then you can click share. And what it's going to do is create several things. It's going to create a Google Plus page, which that's it right here, that uh, allows people to go to this page and watch the Google Hangout. If I scroll down here, um, I've invited, because of those circles I selected, uh, a bunch of folks, like over a thousand people. <laughs> uh, so anybody who wants to respond, they can RSVP for this. And so I'm going to actually tweet this link now to share, um, that, hey, people can join. Um, I also already have a, the applause feature, the showcase feature, and the Q&A feature turned on. And so... Um, Anyway, that it's basically set up. So I'll go ahead and, and write a post on my website, and I can uh, put a link to this, and I can I think there's a way to embed this as well. It's cr probably already created also a YouTube video um, link that's going to you know become the archived video, but usually this is where I'll point people because it's nice for them to be able to RSVP. So I hope that is helpful to you. Um, I am going to be publicly sharing this video, but... Um, I do have uh, an archive of videos um, that I am adding to um, on the website playingwithmedia.com. And so this is a place where I'm privately sharing videos and you can join uh, to learn more about using multimedia and doing things with, um, you know, all kinds of different media to have students show what they know with learning and with their, their work, whether that's in school or outside of school. So hope that is helpful to you. Uh, you can contact me. Uh, if you're interested, at my uh, Twitter account, which is twitter.com slash wfryer. And you can also just visit my website, which is westfryer.com. And there's more information there that you can get about getting in hold of me or uh, other books that I've written and other things that I'm doing with respect to educational technology. So good luck, and uh, let me hear from you if you have a Google Hangout, and uh, hopefully you're successful getting that not only to take place, but to be archived so that you can have that video that you can share out later and allow others to time and place shift in their consumption of the wonderful ideas that you're going to be discussing in your Google Hangout.